getting well ready for school because James is off today so it's always so nice when he's off and can like get him ready and I can like wake up slowly and have my coffee can you guys see I'm trying to drink it I don't want it to spill darker than I'm used to I used to be like well I still am like a really big creamer girl but honestly I just haven't been feeling the best about myself and also kind of like sluggish and stuff so I'm trying to be a little more like conscious about what I'm eating and something that I was like really overdoing recently was coffee with tons of creamer. So I'm trying to drink it a little bit darker. But I have a really good, I think, vlog today. And as I'm filming this, I actually already filmed the whole rest of the vlog. So it's gonna be another moving vlog. So much stuff. I think we did like the curtains in the living room, some decor. The rug in the bedroom i did a trader joe's haul just lots of stuff but i did i realized i did no intro it was kind of just go 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 so i wanted to take a second to go like hi welcome to the vlog oh oh my gosh i did <laughs> that this was going to be like the first thing i addressed when i started the video but you guys are probably like what's going on okay i have my <laughs> i'm sure here let me see this is embarrassing, but I have them on the floor from when I put them on last night. <laughs> but this is, I have the Mighty Patches on. I feel like you guys had to have heard about these before. So, I'll get into this in a second. Okay, so I wanted to start off the video. Hold on. Cheers, by the way, if you're watching this morning, good morning. Um, <sighs> I am so sorry. It's been two weeks since my last video. I don't know, I am just literally the world's slowest editor. I am always filming, always. Like I film something every day for some sort of video. Right now I already did a pantry declutter video, a bathroom makeover and declutter video. I have two additional moving vlogs filmed and they're all just sitting in iMovie. Like I don't know who, what my problem is, but I am the world's slowest editor. I've even thought so much as like, should I hire somebody to edit my videos? But I just feel like that's kind of silly. I don't know. Like, who do I think I am? Like, David Dobrik or I don't know. <laughs> like, I just think that's kind of silly. But on the other hand, I'm like, my goodness, I have, ever since having been in, I feel like I have the attention span of like a goldfish and sitting down and focusing and editing is so hard for me. So I promise lots of videos coming. I'm so sorry it's been two weeks. I'm always thinking about YouTube. It's just, I have the hardest time with editing. I feel like I'm golden with filming and I'm so good at filming and then, I don't know, it takes me forever. Now, before we get into the video, I did wanna mention this, which I'm wearing. So, I feel like I've talked about them before. Maybe not. If you guys have ever heard of Hero Cosmetics, you have probably heard of the Mighty Patch. I feel like so many people have heard about this. I've seen these everywhere, especially like online and in stores, and I have a couple on actually. But my sister is actually who introduced me to these. She's 13 and she loves these. But I have the Mighty Patch on and I love it. It is great for any acne or problem areas. And they actually came out with a Mighty Patch Nose Edition, which is what I have on right now. So I wanted to show you guys because I put it on last night. I'll put the clip right here of me putting it on. I love these things because they get all of like the gunk and the sebum out and the oil and they really clear up your nose, but they're so comfortable. And it's not like other nose strips where you put it on for like five minutes and then it gets really hard and you rip it off. These you actually, they're very thin, but very sticky so they stay on and they're super comfortable. Like my nose is not hard at all. I slept with this on. You're supposed to keep it on for like six to eight hours. So sleeping with it overnight is perfect. And then, I don't know if you can tell, 
but it pulls all the gunk out of your nose. So I wanted to show you guys on camera. Okay, let's see. This part is always so satisfying and this does not hurt at all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, it always looks so, it's always so much worse than I think it's gonna be. I'm always like, oh no, my skin's doing really good. And then, okay, how do I show you guys this? Look at all that gunk that came out of my nose. Can you see that? Hello? <gasps> Look at all of that gunk that came out of my nose. Ugh. So yeah, these are the Hero Cosmetic Nose Patches. And I love them. I've only used these a few times, but I have used like the regular Mighty Patches a bunch of times. Now, if you guys have never heard of Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch before, the Mighty Patch uses the highest quality hydrocolloid, so it won't irritate sensitive skin. It's 100% safe and FDA approved, and it's also super affordable. So if you guys are interested, definitely click the link in my description box to get 15% off plus free shipping on orders over $35. All you have to do is enter code LMIDGELY at checkout. Once again, click the link in my description and use code LMIDGELY at checkout. And thank you so much to Hero Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. Look at how, I feel like my nose looks so clear now. And also this little wrinkling you see goes away after like 20 minutes or so usually. But yeah, I wanted to um, just welcome you guys to the vlog because I realized I hadn't done an intro. And yeah, thank you guys for bearing with me in this like weird time where I haven't been posting twice a week like I used to do. It's been more like once a week, once every two weeks. <sighs> I don't know. I'm so scatterbrained recently and then I think with move. Okay, I just talked so much that I filled up <laughs> my card. So, welcome to the vlog. Let's get on into it. I hope you guys all have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy my dark brown coffee. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, if you guys remember from my last video, I hung up these curtains. These were the curtains that were on my wall in the old house. And as you can see, everything right now is the same exact color. So, I thought that I should get some other curtain choice, like a different color. And this is what color our rug is. So I ended up picking out this like olive sage green. I'll show you the packaging. So these were on sale at Target and they are like the taller, is it 94 inches, one panel, but they were $8 a piece, which I thought was a really good deal because I only needed four of them. So I got four for around $30, and I was seeing a lot of them on Amazon for like two for 35. I don't know, it was a really good deal. And I think I like this color. It is a green, but it's kind of a very neutral green. It has a lot of gray in it, and I think it's gonna look really pretty. Ooh, I think it looks so good. It's definitely not my favorite material. It does kind of feel like a shower curtain, but I think that's just because it's blackout curtains. But I don't really care about material. I feel like once it's steamed, it'll look nice. I really just wanted that specific color, and it was definitely the cheapest option. Like I said, it was $8 a panel, or maybe it was, it might have been $6 a panel. It was on like major sale at Target. So I want to hang up these picture frames on the wall, but I'm trying to work smarter and not harder. So instead of doing the typical thing where I like try to hold it up myself and see what it looks like, I'm gonna take these Trader Joe bags that I have because it's the only paper I can find and cut it to the exact size, oh I need mean a pen, of these. So then I can hang them up on the wall and I don't know, I feel like it's gonna, it's gonna work out. If you hear white noise, that's because 
someone is sleeping and I have to have the baby monitor super loud. Okay, so not one of the sides is a little jacket, but it'll do for the most part just so I can kind of see which way that I want them and I don't know, figure out placement on the wall. Staring out the window, reaching for a north star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limb. In the middle, you tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different. I'm trying to figure out if that's the placement that I want. By the way, if you don't know this little trick, if you have an iPhone and you go to the measure thing, there is a level on your iPhone. Because time ain't as well, but you fill me up, and I can feel it now. She said, Life is just a symbol for the pain that you can get through, like a camera. I think it looks so good. Okay, so I did take them down for right now because until I can get them hung up with like actual nails and screws, I don't want them to fall down since they're only on the push pins. But I am, I want to see if it would feel different to have the tree here in the lamp here so i'm gonna switch them and this is what the other view of the living room looks like we still need to get um a tv stand for down here because at our old house we had the tv above the fireplace but there were no studs behind the fireplace so we couldn't do that here that was our original plan but thankfully this couch fits either way funny enough i was actually going to buy an even bigger couch because honestly we're going for comfort over design here usually just because i feel like my passion in life whether i'm good at it or not is home decor so i love all things home decor it's like what i spend all my free time looking at and all of that so in previous homes i just wanted like the couches and the chairs i wanted whatever was trendy but honestly we really wanted a big sectional for this house so that the whole family us and our two kids could snuggle on one couch because it was not the most practical at the old house. Everyone wanted to lay on the couch. There was only one couch. So we got a big sectional. Originally, I was gonna get an even bigger one because like I said, we're going for comfort, but I didn't because I thought it was gonna be turned this way facing the fireplace and it would have been too long. But I'm actually glad I got this one because this is a pretty dang big couch, but it is so nice. I'll prop you guys up here for a second. And my family and James' family have been coming over like every day and last night or the night before am i in focus no of course not um my family came over and it was so nice because me james both the kids my sister my stepdad and my mom were all sitting on the couch and it was just perfect so i saw a comment on my last video where someone was like that couch is too big for this space i have to disagree the space is really big but even so um i don't really know design rules when it comes to sizes of couches because with this house we were just going go big or go home. We were wanting comfort. So if it is too big for the space and you are a design pro, please excuse that. 
Um, like I said, we're gonna kind of pull it out and center it a little bit more so it's not as shoved against the window, but we're just trying to get our bearings and figure out like the layout and what we're gonna do. But all that to say, I want a big TV stand here because right now it's just our old entryway table, which is definitely too small for the area. We need somewhere to hide the cords. Another reason why we have this up because Bennett has an obsession with cords. So, okay, what was I doing? What was I talking about? Oh, I'm gonna switch those. Am I making you dizzy yet? I'm gonna switch them. I'll be right back. Ignore the stuff on the fireplace because that won't be here. I'm going to put a plant here and then you guys tell me what you like. Okay. Do we like, let me know down below, the lamp or that probably looks so bad because I moved the camera and I don't remember where I had it originally. But do we like the first option with the big lamp and the little plant or do we like the one with the big tree and the little lamp? Okay, I'm leaning towards this setup actually. And I'll tell you what, I bought this with the intention of putting it on that side table. And now the kitchen is really dirty right now, so you have to ignore that. However, I put this up here earlier and I thought it looked really pretty with the colors of the kitchen. Don't you think? So I think I'm gonna leave it on that little window ledge. Okay, so this is my new coffee maker, and you might be like, Lauren, you have a coffee maker, why do you need another one? I have an espresso machine. We haven't been using it that much recently just because it's, we love it, love it, but it gets pricey. You have to buy the pods, and the pods are like a dollar and 10 cents per pod, and we drink a lot of coffee. Anyways, I found this one on Walmart, and I think it's so cute. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Whew. It is the Drew Barrymore brand from Walmart. Her brand is called Beautiful. And look how pretty it is. I will admit, I bought this purely <laughs> off the way that it looks. Because I'm like, you can't screw up a coffee pot that much, right? Um, and yeah, it had good reviews online. I looked it up on like Instagram. It seemed to have good reviews. It's just a 14 cup programmable coffee maker. But isn't that pretty? And now that I have like the kitchen of my dreams, I thought I would want a coffee maker that kind of matched it. Okay, wait, Bennett just crawled out of the gate. Hold on. So yeah, that's the story behind why there's a new coffee, why we got a new coffee pot. And hopefully it works good. Like I said, I really wanted it for the color. Um, but it seemed to have good reviews, so I'm excited. I'm gonna put it together right now. Let me put them in the high chair and then we can get this out, but I'm excited for it. We just wanted a simple coffee pot. We already have an espresso machine. Just something to make like big old pots of cheap coffee. Let me put him down. So excited, but I need to go put Ben down for a nap. I can't get over. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. It's just from Walmart. So next, I headed over to Floor and Decor with my mom and Bennett because we needed to pick out flooring for the upstairs because our insurance is covering new flooring upstairs after the flood 
And is that what it's called? The leak, the flood? The flood sounds very dramatic. It's not a flood, I don't know. But anyways, we needed to pick out new flooring. So I was looking at these tiles for the laundry room. I also was looking at flooring for the upstairs. So that's what all of these clips are for. I thought I would do a little bit of a voiceover since all the voiceovers I did in the store, you could barely hear what I was saying. So I think this is the first time I'm showing it. This is our master bedroom. So, ta-da! We have um, James pulled up the box spring and the mattress because I do wanna put a rug under here. However, I have two rugs and I'm honestly not sure if I like either of them. I might return them and I actually already have a third rug on the way that I think I like best. I don't know. but. We need some sort of rug in here. So the reason I wanna get a rug in here is just because not only will it feel a little bit more comfy, but everything has been sliding. <laughs> like the bed's been sliding, the nightstand. So I really wanna get a rug down so that the furniture will stay put and just also so it will feel a little bit more homey in here. And then you'll notice too that the curtains are two different curtains. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. These were the ones that were in the living room at the old house, and these were the ones that were in the bedroom at the old house. <laughs> and I sound out of breath because I'm holding this big guy, but let me show you the rugs because James is going downstairs to get the rug pad. So I have this one, which is cream, like different creams and grays and beiges. I really like it. I obviously was like drawn to it, but I'm like, okay, the walls are already like cream. The nightstand's cream. This is brown. Is this too blah? So then I also got this rug. So this one's like reds and blues. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. But now I'm like, is it too much? I don't know. Okay, so the second we laid this this rug down, James said it was ugly, <laughs> which I do like it. Um, it's a Laloy rug, just like the one in the living room. I think it might be prettier in a smaller size. The print's just really stretched out in this big size, so I think we're gonna buy that one back. Hi. <sighs> The rug pad is definitely like a little wonky size wise, so I'm just gonna cut that off. So the very next day, the additional rug that I had bought actually came in the mail, so I wanted to try it out in this room. So once again, me and James moved the box spring, the mattress, the bed, we moved the rug, and then we laid down the new rug, and I realized that it was so much smaller than the other one. I'm not sure. It was correct, though. I looked, and one of them was like a seven, a seven foot, 11 inches by 10 and then the other one was 8 foot 11 inches by 10 so when I was glancing I thought they were both 8 by 10 but there was about a foot difference so I loved that rug but it didn't work out so all of that work just to once again put the original rug back down thankfully I have a very sweet and loving husband who does not mind or at least he doesn't tell me does not mind moving the bed this much with my mom and my brother. I feel like it's a little bright in here. And I've only 
been there maybe three times. Um, the prices are really good, like a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. Kind of reminds me, Aldi is like my favorite grocery store and it definitely reminded me of Aldi but with more choices, but the prices were similar, at least in my area, so that was really good. Because when I think Trader Joe's, I think expensive for some reason. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I, um, now keep in mind, I didn't really get a lot of veggies. For some reason, their veggie selection, sorry if you can hear Bennett bouncing in the background. Their veggie selection was not that great. So like all of their red onions were moldy. All their green peppers were like really squishy. Like I don't know what was going on. So I got the stuff that I could here and there was like a lot of fun stuff that I wanted to try or I saw on TikTok. And I think tomorrow, because James is off work and I can just like run in because he can watch Bennett, I think I'm gonna run into Aldi to get like any veggies or meat that I need. Because I was also kind of in a rush today. But I figured I would give you guys a quick Trader Joe's haul. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk really fast because Bennett is super fussy, so I need to get this stuff away. But some multi grain waffles, that's like William's favorite thing to have for breakfast is waffles with peanut butter on them. And then I'm a huge like water cracker girl, so I just got some of those. I got these Trader Joe's PB and J bars for Will and Bennett. I feel like they'd really like them. Bennett's actually eating one right now and seems to love it. I got some apple bars, um, just some pouches. This one's apple carrot, this one's apple mango for William and Bennett. Let me turn up the brightness. They did have a good zucchini selection, so I got some zucchini. I got some arugula, I got some kale gnocchi. Is that how you say that? I got some rice cauliflower stir fry, this Asian style vegetable stir fry. Sometimes I just don't feel like cutting up a bunch of vegetables, so I thought this would be perfect for those nights because there's so many packed in here. I got some freeze dried mango, some avocado oil spray, some blueberries, some blackberries. Uh, chipotle vegetable quesadillas, hash browns, split pea soup, celery hearts, um, garbanzo beans, orange chicken, uh, baby spinach, chicken fried rice, buffalo style chicken dip, so that's why I got the celery to like use as the <laughs> transport to my mouth. I got some white cheddar corn puffs, bananas, um, I got some yellow onions. Like I said, their red onions weren't great. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up even faster because <laughs> my camera's about to die. Pita chips. Um, some sourdough bread. I love having sourdough bread with eggs in the morning. Some multi-grain bread. Eggs, bananas, unsweetened almond milk, oat milk, cauliflower gnocchi, and some pork Goiza pot stickers. So I feel like I got a really good amount. I got all that plus all that, and it was a hundred dollars, which I feel like is reasonable. Now I do need to go to Aldi tomorrow just to get some more veggies, and I also wanted to get some pesto and some chicken sausage, but they were out of both. But yeah, that's my little Trader Joe's haul. So this is what <laughs> we're currently working with, and we actually didn't know they were coming to do this today. So, as you can see, there's all like the water stains. Um, so we weren't prepared. <laughs> and we actually had plans to have James's parents over for his dad's like birthday lunch and we hadn't ate breakfast or anything and they came over and obviously we could not use the kitchen anymore. So we had to cancel the birthday lunch. Um, I think we're just gonna do it in a couple days instead when they're done with this. Apparently they're coming all week, which is great. We just weren't expecting it. So James and Bennett just went to go grab breakfast because we are starving. Um, and yeah, I, what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna go upstairs and clean <laughs> because the house is a mess. Okay, so I'm upstairs. Let me show you the flooring that we picked. So all this flooring is going to be replaced. Um, Will's room will not because I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually different flooring. So they're replacing everything to like make it flow as well as the laundry room and then the playroom. But this is what we picked out for the laundry room. Really, really like it. 
Um, we had to stay under like a certain budget for it to be covered with the homeowner's insurance. I think they said to stay under $2.50 a square foot, and this was only like $1.50, and this one was like $1.69. Um, and this is luxury vinyl plank in signature hickory from Duralax, I think. But yeah, this is what I chose for the upstairs, and then that's for the laundry room. And I think it's gonna be really pretty. I really like how it looks together, if you like. <gasps> Doesn't that look pretty? And I wanted like a fun little pop in there. So yeah, that's what we picked. Hi guys, okay. I am editing this video and I realized I did not do an outro per usual, so I wanted to come on here and just say goodbye. And I was laughing because in like three of the clips in this video, I am wearing this zip, zip up sweater and I stole this from my 24 year old sister, Kenzie, who lives in Nashville currently. She came to visit and left it at my house and I just like made it my own. <laughs> now I wear it all the time and we're always on FaceTime with each other and my mom, like me, my mom and my sister Kenzie talk like all day, every day and it's just, She's always like, you're wearing my sweater, my sweater. And now she's going to watch this video and I'm wearing it in like three different clips. So thank you, Kenzie, for my favorite sweater. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't boring. As I was watching it, and I'm not sure if it's because it takes me like 10 to 12 business days to edit one video nowadays. But I'm like, is this, is this boring? So... If it was boring, I'm sorry. Don't tell me though. You'll hurt my feelings. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, leave a comment down below and let me know if you made it all, way, all the way till the end. If you did, you deserve like an award because currently this video is 40 minutes long. I'm hoping I can cut it down a little bit more. Um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to check out Hero Cosmetics down below. I will have their link in my description and you can use code, let me make sure I get it right. L Midgley, L Midgley for 15% off site-wide plus free shipping on orders over $35, which is the best deal you'll find. You won't even find this deal on Amazon, so make sure you check out the link in my description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.